So what happened in October is that um, the Sahrawi that you just saw were protesting their living conditions, economic conditions, poor housing, very little access to jobs. And what they did was something really amazing, is they created a camp. And it's a peaceful protest to, to go outside of LIU in the main city and um, to show that they, are, they were upset. And this was their form of peaceful protest, was to create this camp called Gideon Mazik that was um, about 15 kilometers outside of Elayoun. Um, and they lived there for about a month. Um, back and forth, families went, you know, some, the elders sort of stayed there. People who had to go in to take their kids to school went into town and they came back. Uh, and they were in negotiations with the Moroccan government to address some of those concerns. And those negotiations appeared to be moving forward. Mm -hmm. And then on November 8th, the, um, the government came in and early in the morning, around 5.45, surrounded the camp. Um, helicopters came from above saying, you must leave the camp, it's going to be dismantled. And then they actually took fire hoses filled with hot water and sprayed them on, um, on the, the residents of the camp. They started dismantling the camps, burning the cars, beating the people that were there. Um, and it, it, and, and using rubber bullets, and um, so people had to flee the camp, and it, it was a terrible thing. I mean, people were killed on both sides. There were Sahrawi and Moroccan forces. It